This is the weekly check of the Red Wiggler bin. Let's see. Okay. Fed here last. Let me check this corner here to see if anything is there. There's blue. What does blue mean? Oh, that was rice turned into blue, blue powder. That's weird. Never seen that before. There are some worms around, large and small. So that's interesting. Okay. Mm, what was this? I think this part of it was the uh, grape. Grape stems. Okay. Ah, let's see. All right, let's check here where their last feeding was. little dry on top in the corner. Young worms. Lots of worms. And babies right there. That looks like cantaloupe. Cantaloupe and cantaloupe and um, oh corn husk here's some more of that grape stem Okay. It's a little musty smelling right here. But there are lots of worms. Okay, let me go ahead and aerate the bin. Okay, where there were food, the 
there was the most moisture, obviously. However, the rest of the bin is, isn't dry, it's just drier. I'm going to be gone for a couple weeks, so what I think I'm going to do is I will feed them, water them up, and instead of just using paper, newspaper as a cover, I'm going to put uh, bubble wrap like I have with my other bins, and it seems to keep in the moisture pretty good, so I don't have to feel like or be afraid that they're going to you know, be all dried out by the time I get back in two weeks. Look at those wormies. And it's interesting that these rice particles turn blue. Okay, so let me put this back here. Feed them right here in the middle. Make sure there's no babies on my glove. It's time for a new glove. I, I reuse the same glove for the same bin over and over and over again until, until it gets a hole in it. But so far, no hole. It just looks terrible. Okay, so have some corn husk. They seem to like these wispy things. The silk and this looks like uh, what is that? Melon, the green melon. And since I will be gone for two weeks, I'm gonna feed them up really well. Oh well, it's frozen. Frozen, frozen, frozen. And the usual coral calcium powder. And seed meal. Warm chowder. Warm chow. Gotta keep reminding myself it's warm chow, not warm chowder. Cover it up. After I get back, I'm gonna work on, um, I think it might be ready to uh, harvest. Alright, so I don't have any plastic. I'm just going to water this up and then put the plastic on um, off camera. But I will water this right now. I don't see any gnats in this, so that's good. Well, there's just a few, not like before. So the neem seed has been doing its thing. There's the bin. And thank you for coming on this journey with me.